I wrote down in my script that this has to be one of the strangest internet videos of all time. I feel like that's a bit of a hyperbole. The video itself isn't strange, but the mysteries surrounding it really are. Just what went on behind the mind of John Bergeron, the man who created her, is all to himself. First and foremost, let's start from the beginning. In 2009, a YouTube channel by the name of Creepy Blog uploaded a video titled I Feel Fantastic, and the video itself featured a singing robot mannequin looking thing whom we later find out is named Tara. The description of this video has something to do with some sort of Greek mythology, something related to the robot I'm sure, but not relevant to why the video exists. As I'm sure most of you already know, Tara the singing robot eventually became an urban legend soon after her debut on YouTube. People speculated as to why the robot existed, and if there was anything deeper to it than what was shown. The most prominent theory comes from a creepypasta that claims that this was a video created by a known serial killer who showed his creation, that being Tara. Somehow though, the serial killer is also an engineering genius apparently, as he somehow converted the screams of his victims, buried somewhere here I guess, into singing. Not really sure how that's possible, but yeah, I guess it is. Well, that's what people believed anyways, but it's not true, obviously. Now, the true story is that this video is actually a re-uploaded clip from a full 15 minute video made by John Bergeron, who is also the creator of Terra. We know this because it says so on the website, androidworld.com, which if I have to add is a website that's unnerving in itself, but we won't be touching on that today. Instead, we'll be clicking on this link right here, which takes us to this page in which we can actually buy the Android music videos, all for the low, low price of $7 plus shipping and handling. Of course, I'm not gonna bother buying the video myself, as I'm not necessarily comfortable giving money to a website that looks like this, so I'll go ahead and use this Medium article as reference from here on out written by Yitzi Lit, by the way. So Yitzi purchased the Android music video and it came to them just a few months later. It also came with a note that apologized for being so slow on the delivery, as well as how to play the videos themselves. Seriously, what the hell is a BUP file or a VOB? Well, anyways, it's here we learn that these files are copies from the original source, obviously, and that they were last modified on December 6th, 2004, meaning this DVD predates the quote-unquote original Terra the Android music video uploaded on YouTube by five whole years. Now, as curious as that is, no real new information can be gathered by purchasing this music video DVD compilation. In fact, you can already watch all of the music videos included in the DVD on YouTube right now, so it's not like you haven't seen these before or couldn't. But then, digging deeper, we can actually eventually trace these videos back to a channel called Halloween Android, which, if it really were the case, would pretty much explain Terra's origins, but of course, the re-uploader is not John Bergeron. So this sort of brings us to a halt. We do have an additional few videos not included in the DVD compilation, some of which are definitely made with the intent to shock, if not slightly creep out the audience, which could only mean that the people behind these videos must be self-aware that Terra herself is super creepy, right? Well, actually, not quite. Exploring deeper into this website will eventually stumble upon some dead links, mainly ones that talk about more about John Bergeron and his history of robot building. His first robot was actually nothing more than just a cruder version of Johnny Five. Yeah, remember that dude? Holy shit, what a cool movie. I really, really love this. Anyways, aside from this, we also get a glimpse into why Terra was made in the first place, that being for entertainment purposes. And no, you sick freaks. Not that kind of entertainment. I mean, like she and others of her kind would be used for 
display in theme parks or greeting robots in stores, trade shows, advertising for basic research of AI and human movement, as well as for home use, security, and quite a few other things, John had a massive, ambitious plan for Terra. Something that could be used in the future for the entertainment and protection of humans. She wasn't made to be scary, she was made for everyone to use. Sadly though, that was the complete opposite of what Terra's appearance had on the public eye. We already discussed how she became a terrifying urban myth on her own, but really I have yet to even touch just how creepy her appearance is. Did you know she has a second head and that's actually creepier than her first? This one has camera eyes, which was to incorporate a sort of vision-like detection for Terra, but was never fully implemented. The strange singing and the odd songs that she was involved in, I mean, Terra just had a real rough start, and that was apparently made by John Bergeron himself, and sorry John, but your music is not quite there yet. Maybe old John could fix her up, and she could be better, she could be reintroduced. Maybe in the future she could change, right? And surely... He must know about her fame, right? No. Sadly, no. On Friday, July 22nd, 2005, John Bergeron passed away at his home. Yes, 2005, years prior to Terra's internet stardom. John Bergeron was not a serial killer, far from it. He was a man who was passionate about his art projects and his ambition to entertain the masses with his robot. Terra, and I'm sure he had other designs, other plans, other things that he really wanted to show you, other things that weren't ever really explained, but sadly he's gone. John died wanting to have Terra be a superstar, and he wanted to just make sure everyone had fun, but sadly nobody ever really contacted John about his creation, nothing came to fruition, no new models, no commercial use, nothing. John died being known as some sort of sick fetishist or some sort of serial killer sadist. But he was just a man who loved his robots, and he loved his hobby, and he just wanted a better future for them. And that is the tragedy of Terra, the singing robot.